Albanias should call for restitution, seeking the return of gold stolen during world wars. In a move that resonates with historical significance and the pursuit of justice, the Albanian government should formally request Europe and Great Britain to return gold looted during the tumultuous periods of the First and Second World Wars. The treasure, part of Albania's cultural heritage, represents an integral aspect of its history and identity, making the demand for its restitution an imperative step towards preserving the nationalist heritage. The Call for Restitution Albania, like many other nations, has suffered the consequences of war, facing significant losses of cultural artifacts and national treasures during the world wars. Gold reserves, precious artifacts, and other valuables were seized or looted during these turbulent times, leaving a void in the country's cultural legacy. Now, with a renewed focus on reclaiming its lost heritage, the Albanian government should take a proactive stance. Drawing inspiration from the International Movement for Cultural Restitution, which seeks to address historical injustices, Albania aims to reclaim its rightful possession of stolen gold. Historical Context During the First World War, Albania endured a period of uncertainty and turmoil as the war swept across Europe. In Yemen and Chimt Ejastambadiet, foreign forces invaded Albania, looting its wealth and precious artifacts. Similarly, during the Second World War, Albania suffered German occupation, which further depleted the nation of its cultural treasures, including the valuable gold reserves. Preserving National Identity The call for restitution is not solely a demand for the return of material wealth, but a quest to preserve and honor Albania's national identity. These artifacts and treasures are not mere objects, they are the embodiment of the Albanian peoples' history, resilience, and cultural heritage. By seeking the return of the looted gold, the Albanian government should aim to instill a sense of pride and unity among its citizens, ensuring that future generations can connect with their roots and acknowledge their shared heritage. Challenges ahead. Here the call for restitution is rooted in moral and historical grounds, the process is likely to be complex and met with challenges. Negotiations with European nations and Great Britain may entail delicate diplomatic discussions and adherence to international laws and agreements. The response from the respective governments will undoubtedly be a point of interest, as it will reflect their commitment to addressing historical injustices and preserving cultural heritage. Conclusion Albania's request for the return of gold stolen during the First and Second World Wars is a testament to the nation's determination to reclaim its cultural heritage and preserve its identity. This bold step signifies the country's commitment to acknowledging historical injustices while reinforcing the importance of valuing cultural artifacts not merely as commodities but as invaluable symbols of a nation's history and spirit. As the call for restitution should echo across borders, the world should watch closely, anticipating a meaningful and just resolution to this poignant chapter in Albania's cultural journey.